Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys more than 10 amazing hidden features that you will be able to find on your iPhone running iOS 14. Another amazing feature is the like button just underneath this video. So make sure you leave a like on this video as it really helps out a lot. All right, first off, we're talking about the spotlight search. So you want to go to the spotlight search. You have to go to the home screen of your device to actually invoke the spotlight search. Did you know that you can do that from any app as well? All you got to do is just go to accessibility and just make sure you go to touch here, go to assistive touch, enable it and choose one from the custom actions right here. I've chosen single tap and just make sure you enable right there spotlight. This allows you to just tap right there and invoke the spotlight search from any app you want. So on each app that you use, of course, you can go ahead and just invoke the spotlight search without having to leave the app and go to your home screen. Here is another trick that probably a lot of you guys will use. So let's say you're on a phone call with someone or someone is ringing your iPhone. You don't want to tap the red button to actually hang on because they will know. Of course, when you're on a call, you tap the red button, it says call ended. But what you can do is actually while you're on the phone call, just go ahead, go to your control center and turn on the airplane mode that will lead them to believe and of course it will show them that the call has failed not that you have ended the call but the call has failed you can do that while you're on a call or if someone is actually calling you and you just don't want to pick up your phone you can do that and it shows them that the call has failed a really cool feature that is hidden within the settings app on iOS will let you route your call anywhere you want. So you go to accessibility and from here you go to touch. Once you go here, you will find call audio routing. Now if you go here, you can choose automatic, you can choose Bluetooth headset or speaker. So let's say you just want to automatically have the call answered on your speaker. Maybe you have the earpiece here broken something like that you can just choose the speaker here and anytime you answer a call it will automatically go to your speaker or maybe you use the bluetooth headset this will make it always automatically go to the bluetooth headset without you having to actually do that manually next up we're talking about something that is hidden within the model number of your iphone so when you go to your iphone you go to your settings you go to about you will see the model number right here but do you know what it means the m here stands for a new device basically this is a new device purchased from apple or a reseller if you see here an f that means that that has been a refurbished device so you have a refurbished device if it has an F here or if it has an N it means that it's a replacement device so someone had a warranty on their device they took it to Apple they replaced it and it's really not known whether they give new devices or refurbished ones we can probably not know that but it will have an N if it's a replacement device also the two letters right here so you can see LL that shows you for which market this device has been produced this one has been produced to be sold on US if you see LL then it's US if you see JP is Japan if you see C is Canada and I believe F is France and so on probably you will get a list somewhere on the internet of all those letters and you can see for which market that device has been produced if you're on a website on safari and you want to share it with someone but you want to specify something on that website what you can do is just go ahead and select that part so let me just select here this part so what i want to do now is with that selected tap the share button and here tap on iMessage and you can see it will send the website but you will also see that what we had selected it shows that as a title right there which is really really cool and of course you can also add a comment here if you want and send it to anyone you want so just select anything here and you can actually go ahead and share that as a title now another cool thing on safari is that you can instantly turn any website into a pdf just tap the share button and just tap on markup and now this is a pdf so you can see right here we have a pdf and of course we can also go ahead and mark up anything we want 
or we can just disable the markup tools from there. And then of course you will also have the chance here to go ahead and save this to the files app. So as easy as that, turn any website into a PDF file. Now, when you want to do that on your device, you might not see markup right here. What you can do is actually just go ahead and go to edit actions. From here, you will be able to add more actions to your favorites and other actions that are maybe disabled. You can add them right there and of course, rearrange them as well. So this is very useful. Of course, you have the actions that you use the most right here at the top. Now, this part right here will be different for different apps, but this one at the top, the apps that you see, these are actually the same for all the apps and you can go to more here and you can enable or disable any of them. You can tap the edit button. Now the only thing that you cannot edit is the airdrop. The other ones can be rearranged, disabled or enabled as well. So if you just don't want to see a bunch of apps there, just have the ones that you actually use. You can do that from there. On the settings app, when you go to your seller section, right here we'll see all the apps that are using seller data on your device. And of course, it also shows how much data they have used. Right here we'll also see system services. So if you just think that something is actually using a lot of data and you're not seeing it on the apps, it might be system services. So go here and you will see a list of all the different system services that have used your data. And of course they might have been consuming a lot. Now this one can consume a lot, documents and sync. These are basically the documents that are being sent and downloaded to the iCloud. But of course, there is a fix for that. You go back and just scroll here all the way down and you will see iCloud Drive. Now make sure you disable this and then all the documents will be uploaded and downloaded from iCloud only when you're connected to the Wi-Fi network. From the messages app on ios you can send two different messages you can send an iMessage, which is the one of course with the blue bubble or you can send a simple sms which in most cases will cost you money especially if you're sending them outside of the state what you can do here is just go ahead and go to settings and head on to the messages setting make sure you enable show subject field and also character count now what this does it shows you the character count right there so you don't just write a long SMS, which will cost you probably double. So you can see right there, it shows you how many letters you have left to type. And that's 160 that you can type on an SMS without it being two SMSs, which of course will cost you double. There is a really cool trick that you can do on any of the apps on iOS that have tabs like this. So here I'm on the app store. I can go to Snapchat and I can go here somewhere just browsing the app. What if I want to go back to the app section? I will have to reach for the back button, go back once and go back once more. But there is an easy way to do that here. I will go on the same page here. What I have to do is just tap right there on apps and it will just take me right out and take me right back to the app section. When you want to share a picture on your social media or anywhere and you want to add some text to that, maybe even an emoji to hide something or some, something like that, you probably install an app from the app store, maybe even pay for an app. But did you know that you can do that actually from the stock photos app on your device? All you got to do is just go to any photo you want, tap the edit button, tap those three dots right there at the corner. So let me just do that. So tap there, tap on markup. And now tap that little plus button and it shows you a field that says text. Now, once you have done that, it will show you the text right there. You can tap on it, tap edit, and here you can add actually any text you want, or you can just go ahead and maybe add emojis here. So I can add a bunch of emojis and then of course, just place them on the picture. Now, if I tap on the text right there, you can see I can tap those letters and from here I can change the font if I want to and of course changes the size as well. So just like that, I can add these emojis to this screenshot right here. You can see how good they look. You can add any text you want, tap the dumb button once you're done and you're good to go. And last but not least, we're talking about the do not disturb feature. Now the do not disturb feature 
has a hidden feature which you can enable simply by enabling schedule right here and you can see what it shows it shows you from two so you can pick from which hour to which hour you want do not disturb to be turned on automatically and right here it will also reveal another hidden feature dim lock screen now what that does if you enable it all the notifications that will come to your device won't show up on the lock screen. They will go straight to the notification center. Now, when you wake up or you're just up and you get your phone, you will go to the notification center and you will have all the notifications there, but they won't light up the screen of your device when they come to your device. That way, of course, the screen is dimmed by enabling that feature right there. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. These are some amazing features that you will find on your iPhone running iOS 14. Now, of course, a few of them can be found on older iOS versions as well. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you on the next one.